everyone. Welcome to a new episode of Crafting with Cosplay Fabrics. My name is Indra and today I'm going to show you how to do textures on EVA foam using a hobby knife. Alrighty, so I have my piece of EVA foam and this works best on any EVA sheets that are thicker than the two millimeter just because you are burning through and I feel like it shows up the best. So I just have a scrap here that way I can show you and for my hobby iron uh, you can also use you know a wood burner or stuff like that but this one is the Weller. This is the standard duty one the 25 watts because it gets really 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 hot. Um, I really like this one because it comes with so many little heads and that way you can do different like designs and things onto the foam if you want to just like stamp or burn the foam. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how this works. Alright so I have these little test pieces and I've drawn out a little design on them and basically all you do is just once your uh, hobby iron or the knife is hot then all you do is just gently just go over the foam So here's an example of a bracer that I had done using this technique and I think it looks awesome. It adds so much texture and it's such a cool way of manipulating the foam without having to individually cut each piece. And if you use a knife like the one that I showed you, um, it cuts very straight instead of it like being bubbled. like. Even though I use the same technique for both, you can see the difference. Like this one, you can see how it's kind of uh, staggered versus, let me show you like the cuts that I did uh, to show you the difference. The hotter that it is, you have to work, of course, much faster, but the it's much smoother. But regardless, it's the same a type of effect. I think it looks awesome. That way you don't have to cut out each little tiny individual piece and it works great if you want to add any sort of uh, texture or if you want to sort of like bevel the edges or anything like that onto your foam. And that's it. I hope that you found this tutorial useful. I hope it gives you some ideas for your future EVA foam or cosplay projects. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, please leave them in the comment section below. And I hope that you like and subscribe, and I will see you next week for another tip trick or tutorial featuring cosplay fabrics. See ya!